Well, good evening, folks, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman out here at my shooting bench with another one of my 22 Rimfire Sears videos. Today's going to be a good video. What I've got here on the table is some Remington Subsonic 22 Long Rifle Hollow Point Ammunition. I've never tried this stuff before, folks. I just saw it at my local Walmart, and I would say it's probably a fairly recent introduction by Remington. It says here it's a full 40 grain plated hollow point with an advertised muzzle velocity of 1,050 feet per second. There's the box. I'm going to go ahead and take one out of the box here to show you. They're individually packaged like this when they come in the 100 pack. There you can see it's a plated hollow point as the full 40 grain long rifle bullet and one thing I noticed on the head stamp of the cartridge they have their traditional Remington R stamped into it so Remington's taking some pride in making this ammunition but we're going to try it out here at my 50 yard range and test it for accuracy and also performance for expansion so let's see how well this ammunition does okay folks I got five rounds loaded into my magazine here and today I'll be testing this ammunition with my customized Remington model 581 let me get zoomed in here got two targets set up down there at 38 yards and we'll see how well this stuff groups I'll be shooting at the top target first. So here we go. Okay, those last two weren't that great, but uh, still within the target. Let's take another five shot group. Alright, let's go for that bottom target. Alright, that's much better. They all clustered in there a lot tighter with that second group. I think what happened is that first group was on a clean barrel and after the first five shots it started to settle down and that's why we got that tight group with that second five shot group. Okay folks, got a couple more rounds loaded into the magazine here and I always like to do my testing at the actual ranges where you would expect to encounter the game that you're hunting. So I've got some wet layers of newspaper down here at 38 yards and we're going to fire a few rounds into that expansion medium and see how well this ammunition will perform, if it will actually even expand when it encounters um, something like these wet newspaper layers, which in my opinion is actually the best uh, substitute for living tissue, for game tissue. What these bullets would actually do when they strike game animals. So let's take a few shots here real quick. All right. Go down there and check it out. Okay, folks, we'll make sure this gun is unloaded. Chamber is empty. Now it's safe to go downrange. 
really curious to see if this lower velocity ammo will even expand. I would say within 30 to 50 yards it should do pretty good on small games such as rabbits and squirrels, things like that. Anyway, we've got two bullet holes, one there and one there. There you can see. Tore some pretty good holes in there. Not quite as dramatic as the high velocity ammo that we're all used to. Pretty good penetration. All right, I think we have some bullets captured here. Went almost halfway through. And let's see, did we get a mushroom? Yes. There's the first one. This stuff always wants to stain my fingers. It's newsprint. And the same performance with the other bullet. Let's see, did we get a mushroom? Yes. Wow, look at that. Very consistent performance. Good looking mushrooms. So that's about what you can expect on small game, you know. And that's plenty to anchor critters like squirrels, rabbits, uh, crows, pigeons, anything in that category. You should be able to reliably harvest that game. So now that we know that this stuff performs pretty well at 40 yards, uh, I'm going to shoot at a few targets down here at 50 yards and see how well it holds up. Because sometimes, you know, just a few yards, 15, 20 yards like that makes quite a difference with a 22 long rifle. So let's take a few shots down there and uh, see how well it does. Okay folks, got another magazine full of ammunition and now we're going to take some shots down here at 50 yards on those steel targets I got set up down here. I've got three game animals there, two squirrels and a rabbit, and those are life-size game animals, but they're steel silhouettes of course, and we'll see what kind of uh, hits that we can make at that distance with this Remington. Remington subsonic hollow point. Here we go. I'll be shooting at the squirrel on the left. Let's go for a headshot. And then we got a bunny rabbit. Let's try him right between the ears there. See if we can do a brain shot on him too. And we got a squirrel on the right there. We'll go for a headshot with him. So at 50 yards, those three game animals would have been harvested pretty easily. All right, I see a swinging target on the far left. That biggest swinging target there. Let's give it a try. I'll tell you what, it may be subsonic and low powered, but it's hitting the steel targets down there with quite a bit of force. It's quiet, but it sure hits hard. All right, I see another swinging target on the far right. It's a little bit smaller target. Let's give it a try. Yep. Hit perfect right in the middle. Okay, folks. I had the idea of trying this ammunition in a semi-automatic so I brought out my Remington 552 so we're going to load about five rounds into this rifle and see how well it will feed it, eject it and actually shoot it. I've got some more targets set up down there. 
really curious to see if this stuff will function in a semi-automatic. I've got two water-filled cans right down there. You can see them already sitting on top of that stump. So let me go ahead and take a few shots at those. See how well it does here. Okay. Going for the one on the left. And the one on the right. I'll tell you what, it's smacking the heck out of them targets down there. Pretty good ammo, I think. Let's try some of those 50 yard targets again. Got three rounds left. Let's go for that swinging target on the far left again. And there's one right next to it. It's a smaller target. Let's see if we can connect with that one. Yep. Tell you what, it's pretty accurate. And let's go for the one directly under that squirrel on the right. And that's it. Well, folks, here you can see that this five-shot group at 40 yards can just about be covered with a penny using this Remington subsonic ammunition. So, pretty good performance. I mean, if you can hit a penny every time at 40 yards like that, you ought to be able to keep it within the vitals of a small game animal like a squirrel or a rabbit just about every time. Well guys, due to the quickly fading lighting conditions yesterday evening, I decided to come out this afternoon and make the conclusion of this video in which I'm testing this Remington subsonic 22 long rifle ammunition. As you saw earlier when I showed you this target, this was the first five shot group and that's not really a fair assessment of that ammunition because that was on a clean barrel but after the barrel got leaded in it tightened up quite a bit and there you can see there's three shots clustered into one ragged hole and then two fell just a little bit low and as I showed you you know they can be covered with a penny as you can see right there so penny sized groups at 40 yards is nothing to scoff at I mean that's more than capable of keeping all your shots within the vital zones of any small game critter. And also, in terms of the terminal performance on the expansion medium, here's a close up of those two bullets. That's the top, that's the mushroom. And then here's a side view. There's the base of the bullets. That's what you can expect. You know, that's the kind of performance that you'll get whenever these bullets come in contact with any small game critter. So you should be able to cleanly anchor any small game or varmint at reasonable distances such as 30, 40, or even 50 yards with that ammunition. Well folks, in addition to the tests that I performed using this Remington subsonic plated hollow point ammunition on the expansion medium, I also shot at some water filled cans at 40 yards and as you can see, I got rather explosive results to say the least. Here it busted this can wide open. And this one here, it nearly ripped the whole side out of it. So, you know, that translates into good game stopping performance, quick energy transfer, so that you can anchor small game critters very quickly and very humanely. And that brings me to another decision that I've made. And uh, I'm going to leave the next decision up to you guys because this is going to be part one of this particular video. 
and in part two I'll go out in the woods and do some squirrel hunting and I haven't made up my mind which one of these two rifles that I'd like to take along. Should I take the Remington 581 bolt action or should I take along this little Remington 552 semi-automatic? Either rifle is more than capable with that ammunition of cleanly taking small game, but I'm going to leave that decision up to you folks out there. So leave your choice in the comment section below, and whichever one of those two rifles gets the most votes, that's the one I'm going to take along. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I've never done this before, and I'm trying to add a little bit of extra flair to my videos, you know, a little bit of change of pace for your entertainment and for mine as well. So. You guys help me decide, and I'll stick with it. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video, and thank you for coming along. I do appreciate it very much. And remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever your outdoor pursuit happens to be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But also remember, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this one will be coming your way. So until next time, stay tuned for part two. Take care of yourselves and God bless. I'll be seeing you.